everybody, I'm Catherine and welcome to yet another episode of Find Your Way Back where I'll be speaking with individuals that have moved back to Ghana. On today's episode, we have author and CEO of digital advertising company, Babette. Hey Babette. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. How Thank are you? you for joining me. I'm also good. No problem. Let's get into it. So, can you tell us a bit more about yourself? Hmm. <laughs> Where do I start from? <laughs> it's so long. Wow. Um, well, I'm Babette Van Oost. I'm half Ghanaian, mm -hmm. half Dutch, nice. but I was born in the UK. Okay. Um, but when I was three, my mom shipped me over here. She, she said she wanted to raise me the Ghanaian way. <laughs> Those were her ways. Um, and I'm, I appreciate that upbringing. Right. Um, and then when I turned, in 2016, mm -hmm. I had my son. So I moved to the UK. Um, and then I, I always come back home anyway. Yeah. So Ghana is always home. home. Yeah, always home. Yeah. So now you're back. What brings you back? And how long have you been back for? The truth, COVID brought me back. COVID brought you back? <laughs> <laughs> I was, I'm, usually I'm here a couple of months mm -hmm. and then I go. Um, but then I wasn't spending, my son is based here as well, so I wasn't spending too much time here. Um, but then COVID kind of locked me up and, yeah. and forced me to really see what was important. Mm -hmm. And that really, I'm not even going to lie, helped my business as well. Okay. So I'm like, I'm going to definitely be more here than, than in the, the UK. UK. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you mentioned your business. What yeah. is your business? So Loaves and Fish is an advertising agency. Mm -hmm. We do traditional advertising and digital advertising. So anything from social media to web development, um, to traditional um, advertising services, mm -hmm. branding, we do everything. Basically. Wow, so yeah. when was it founded? It was founded in October 2018. Wow, yeah. congratulations. Thank so you. did you start that in Ghana or back in the UK? So the story behind it, I was working for a software company mm -hmm. um, in the UK as a technical writer. So it's a more t so I'm, my background is in copywriting. So copywriting is an aspect of advertising. All the content writing you see right. is done by a copywriter. Okay. So even if you see um, an ad, uh, a copywriter does all the writing on mm -hmm. it. So that's my background. I've been doing that for eight years. Wow. Um, and basically, I lost my job. And my son was there with me. Mm -hmm. um, I went to work one day, and they said, oh, your work ethic is great, blah, blah. But you know, we don't think you know anything about our industry. So this was back in the UK? Yeah, back in the UK. Right. So I was without a job. And you know how difficult it is yeah. finding a job in the UK. Um, my son was there, but somehow God was providing. He pulled through, as always. Yes, as providing always. Every, yeah, every month. Yeah. And then one day I got up and I was like, you know what, I can have my own agency. I have referrals. I have people that I've worked with. Uh, I'm not now starting in the advertising industry. so. Let me just register. How look, it doesn't even take that much to, to register. To start, yeah. Yeah, I think you you can attest. To yes, I can. You, you were I there can. in the beginning. I've seen it from the beginning, and yeah. you've honestly done so well. Thank you so, so much. Yeah. When COVID, well, COVID didn't bring you to Ghana. You got stuck yeah, in Ghana. Yeah, I got Ghana, stuck, yeah, yeah. And that helped you to develop the business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how did you go about doing that over here? Um, luckily for me, I've had a few contacts here when I, when I used to live here. Mm -hmm. The only thing is that I had to, like, trace all these people because I wasn't too much in contact with them and I had to do a lot more networking yeah. to kind of meet new people that I, or, or I, I wanted to be in line with. Mm -hmm. So I started calling people I know, okay, oh, I do this now, can you connect me with this person, can you connect me with this person? And then it's, 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 it's been good, I'm not even gonna lie, the whole of last year, mm -hmm. there wasn't the only time maybe I didn't have a job that I was working on was probably a week. For a few days, like I was working the whole it's time. Amazing. Yeah, it's was amazing. Yeah, working the whole time. So in Ghana, when it comes to networking, do you think it's best when you know someone, or do you think you can go out there and just? I'm a social butterfly, so yeah. that's not difficult for me. You can put I you can, anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do I, it. Can, I can be out. <laughs> yeah. And having a few drinks, I meet people. I, I always like to ask, "What do you do?" Yeah. Or you know, what kind of? Not not to be spiteful, or some people yeah, just, are just asking yeah, people yeah. because. They were they're big, trying to be uh, inquisitive, mm -hmm. but I asked because of the nature of my job. Right, um, advertising caters to every industry. So that being said, I make sure that in every room that I'm in, you I have find to out what everybody, exactly. what everybody does. Yeah. So it's always good. To, some people are introverts, 
Mm -hmm. um, so with people that are introverts, I'd say definitely talk to somebody you know. You would definitely know somebody who does something in your line of work of or who knows somebody in your line yeah. of work. But if you're a social butterfly like me, go for the networking events. Mm -hmm. There's a few that have been around. When you are out, make sure you have your elevator pitch <laughs> ready to tell people about what you do in a few lines. Yeah. And also make sure that you, 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 talk, you chat with people. Yeah. You don't have to bombard them immediately. Just take the number. Let it flow organically. Yeah. 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 That's so amazing. For me, I'm like, I, I, I like You'd rather to go out there. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's worked for you anyway. Yeah, so clearly, it yeah, yeah, it's done something good. Yeah. So in terms of your business, do you have an office space? Do you do it from home? So, so how does I it was work? working remotely for some time. Mm -hmm. um, but then as the business was growing, I saw the need to... And in Ghana... <laughs> if you don't have an office, right. you're nobody. Really? Yes. Location is everything. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I decided to go for some funding. I made a proposal. First person I thought of was my dad. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Daddy's okay, girl. <laughs> yeah. No, no, but I did it the professional way. I okay. could have said, okay, I want money for my business. Right. But I made sure I put together a proposal. I got some funding. I was like, look, I want to expand my business. Mm -hmm. So that means me getting an office space. That means me hiring staff getting a proper website, doing everything. Mm -hmm. And now, I'm almost done with my office. That is amazing. Yeah, it's I almost know. done. I literally. can't wait. Yeah, I can't it's almost wait. Done. So where is the office located? It's in Cantonments. Cantonments, yeah. wow. So now that you've got an office, clearly yeah. you're not doing everything by yourself. Yes. So how many people do you have working um, with you? My current staff, um, and they're on part-time now, mm -hmm. because it's more uh, cost-effective right. for the business at this point. Of course. After we secure... Um, you know, bigger clients on a retainer or monthly basis, mm -hmm. it makes sense to have a full suite of staff. Course, yeah. So I have, I would probably say I'm working with about three people. Okay. Um, but I do a lot of subcontracting as well. So mm -hmm. I work with, I collaborate with other agencies right. that provide other services okay. as well. Okay, yeah. wow. I guess that's all part of forming a network. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. yeah. To work it, with, it definitely so helps amazing. because you find that some agencies are not 360. Right. They don't do everything. Mm -hmm. So they might want somebody to do graphic designing. They might want somebody to do copy for them from copywriting. Yeah. They might want somebody to do video, like all those things. It's good to collaborate. Of course. It's good to collaborate, of yeah. Course. So in terms of finding your staff, how did you go about finding them, the training? What was that like? Um, so a lot of the staff I have are people that have experience already. Okay. So I not a lot. I mean, the the stuff I have right now are experienced already. Okay. So I started with them, with more part time mm -hmm. and freelance because mm -hmm. they already had agencies that they were working with. Right. Um. So they already had the training. Mm -hmm. Um. And I would say that if if you can afford it get people that are more experienced to start with. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So how would you go about monitoring if they're really experienced? What did you do to find out if they could you, match you, up? You definitely the... you give them one or two projects. Okay. With projects, deadlines. Yeah, smaller, smaller projects mm -hmm. that are not too, you know, too work intensive. Just right. see how, my thing is that I look at how fast that's 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 one of the things that my clients know me for my turnover time. Mm -hmm. So if I want somebody on my team, they need to be quick. Yeah. At the same time, we're not just churning out work. You need to be able to be creative as well, mm -hmm. and you need to be doing the right thing. So, I've made it a point that every month or every other month, I do like a, an assessment with right. them to yeah. so make sure that they're you know they're on the right track mm -hmm. for themselves and for the of company. Of course, for the well. company. Yeah. Of course, yeah. that's amazing. So in terms of that strategy, do you feel like more businesses need to adapt to that strategy? Like how, yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> uh, some people do, I think, uh, quarterly okay. assessments. But I prefer to, if you have a smaller team, it's easier to do monthly. Of course. Just have a chat with them. It yeah. doesn't have to be anything too straight jacket. Yeah. It has to be, oh, how are you doing? You know, how are you finding the work? Mm -hmm based off these projects you've worked on. I think this is what we can do differently. Yeah. And, and it gives them a sense of, you know, how they're doing How as they're well. doing, exactly, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 It's important. Good. Yeah, of course. It's important, Of yeah. course. Do you have an assistant or you handle the admin? I, do you know what? I've done everything. Really? Myself. <laughs> That's how it is in the beginning. Yeah, yeah. I've done 
accounting, which I don't like doing, <laughs> keeping books. There's, yeah, when it comes to the money stuff, I'm like, if I'm counting my money, I'm good. You're good, yeah. But yeah. when it comes to the little oh, tax, this someone thing, else can do that. <laughs> yeah, someone else can do that. Yeah. But the great thing about beginning stages of every business and you being able to wear every hat is so that you are not lost when it comes to what people are doing in of your course. company. Yeah. I can come in and say, you, because I, I know a bit about graphic designing right. as well on a smaller level. So I can come in and say, I know that doesn't take that long. Of course. You know, you need to be able to monitor. It's taught me how to know about everybody's, you know, department. Yeah. yeah. And in that sense, nobody can come in and cheat me. It's true. Because no I know you. your work. Yeah. I hired you because you're more experienced than me, but yeah, I know your work yeah. as well. So mm -hmm. that's the whole point of you're it. You're smart. You're smart. I try. I try. <laughs> yes. So what has made you bring your business to Ghana? Because you said that you're going to be in Ghana more. What yeah. is it about Ghana that, you know, you want to bring your business here instead of the UK? Do you know what? Ghana is, um, I mean, we still have the UK office. That's okay. fully not functioning now because of COVID and you're all right. these things that are going on. But there's a lot of talent in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Look, the graphic designers we have here can do the work that they're doing outside. Yeah, it's true. It's just training. It's true. And, and, and you know, attitude towards work. Yeah. That's the only thing we lack here. Yeah. It's the attitude towards work. Because a lot of these people think that, ah, oh, yeah, you need me. Of yeah, course I need of you. Of course. But at the we end need day, each other. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna lose jobs or clients if you don't have the work ethic for what you're doing. Of course. That's the only thing I would say, but there's so much talent here. Yeah. And I feel like having Ghana as headquarters for the business makes more sense. Mm -hmm. Also, it's cost effective. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. There's so much talent coming out of Ghana. Yeah. Would yeah. you encourage people who have businesses mm -hmm. elsewhere to try and bring their businesses if to Ghana? If it makes sense, yeah. why not? Yeah. And the great thing about coming back is that you have international experience now. Of course. So you're not, you're coming to add, you know, <laughs> we are investing in your country. Yeah. That's the great thing about mm -hmm. it. You're going to take that knowledge, you are bringing an added value. Yes to what you're doing mm -hmm. here. And Ghanaians get to benefit from that. That's so true. we're soon going to be on that international level. That's true. Yeah. That's so true. it makes sense. If it, if, it, if, if it makes sense for your business or the mm -hmm. service or the products that you're providing, yeah. definitely do it. Definitely yeah. do it. Yeah. OK. So you've already lived in Ghana before. Yeah, yeah. Did, so you yeah. know the system. Mm -hmm. You know how everything works. But for someone who wants to come back mm -hmm. and they don't really know the system, what steps would you say that they should take? Do your research. Yeah. That's the main thing. Do your research. Um, talk to as many people as you can that mm -hmm. live here as well, people that have moved back as well. Um, and if you're going to leave your job there or your, your business or whatever you're doing there, make sure you've saved up yes. for at least two years. Two years? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to write that down. Save yeah. for two years. <laughs> at least save up for two years yeah. because Ghana is slow. And Ghana expensive. Can, yeah, and expensive. <laughs> People do not realize it's expensive. Ghana is slow and expensive. Yeah. So just make sure you saved up because you're not going to be able to make or see that money. I'm only beginning. It's only God's grace this year that I'm now beginning to see the big contracts. Mm -hmm. And I've been doing this for two years. Two so years. you can just imagine yeah. what, you know, I've had to go through. Mm -hmm. So definitely save up. Save up. Make sure you have enough for two years. Mm -hmm. You're good. And then do your research yeah. into into what you are doing right. as well. Your career, your field. Mm -hmm. Make sure mm -hmm. you do a lot of research. Mm -hmm. Talk to people. And come with an open mind. Yeah. Like, things are slow here. So just, just, just <laughs> if internet is slow, just do think with that, it. okay, yeah, yeah. I, I, I kind of expected it. Yeah. But enjoy the journey as well that's true yeah it's every day you learn something new mm -hmm. so much going on in accra you know business wise on the streets just and take enjoy it, it and embrace enjoy it. it yeah yeah, yeah. Just, just enjoy it yeah have laughs cry if you want you learn something new every day yeah, yeah. so you mentioned if you don't have an office in ghana you're a nobody yeah so <laughs> for someone who wants to come back mm -hmm. and their dream is to get an office or a shop space. Would you say that they should come back a few times and you know Do you shop around a shop little around. bit? Yeah, yeah, shop around a little bit. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know how to say it in, in English, but 
and she yes, would be child. Uh-huh. Like yeah. they will cheat you of course. because they know you're a foreigner. Yeah. So also make sure you do your research. Mm-hmm. The research is important yeah. because then you know that if they're telling you it's two thousand Ghana CDs mm-hmm. and you know the true value that is a thousand Ghana CDs, you go there and you go tell there. them, look, just because I'm a foreigner doesn't mean that I don't know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. So just yeah, just make sure you do your shop research. Around. Yeah, yeah, and shop location around. is location important or it depends on Maybe you. Maybe no, location is important. It's important. Okay. If, when I've mentioned to people, my office is a cantonment. How I we cannot afford you. I'm like, oh no, it's not like that. Cantonments, airport, mm-hmm. residential, Laboni, those areas, when you want like Quality if you things. mention yeah. that, yeah. you're in a good good location. Yeah. You spoke to people, you networked and it's worked out for you. Yeah. So what would you say? I wouldn't say that you dislike about Ghana, but what are the thing, two things that you wish can be changed? Work about ethic. Work ethic, okay. Yeah, people need to be more serious about what they're doing. Yeah. They're too relaxed. Well, I get it, Ghanaians are relaxed. <laughs> it's, in, it's in our nature. We want to jam every time. But <laughs> if you want us to be on an international level, yeah. look at the Nigerians. Hmm. Even with music. I know, I know. We need, we need to... You know, so that drive, you think that drive isn't it's not there, there? It's not there. It's not there. People say they're hungry. They're not hungry. Mm. They are not hungry. That's true. They are not hungry. I'm telling you. They need to be a bit more proactive about yeah. the things that they're doing. And they're putting their attention and their energy behind the wrong things. Such as? Partying. There's <laughs> nothing wrong with partying. Of course. But Balance. But this is how I see it. Yeah. If I go out on a night out, and I, I wake up in the morning mm-hmm. and I know I have a meeting or I have work. I'm quick to go because yeah. I'm like, I spent that money last night. It's true. I need to make I need it to, back. That's true. But people don't have that mindset. I'm relaxed. Yeah. Like, it's like, okay, cool. And people are up and working. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's too relaxed. Yeah. If you're on holiday, you're on holiday. You're not doing that's any true. work. Yeah. yeah. But if you are working, please have that same energy when you go into the office. Of course. Of Nobody's going to come and pay somebody who's not. In Ghana, unfortunately, they will still pay you. <laughs> you go and even if you don't show up, right, they will still pay you. They will still pay you. They will still pay you, <laughs> unfortunately. And that's how come people's businesses are running down because they have a, a chaff of people not doing the work yeah, and yeah. just sitting there taking up space. Yeah. And the people out there who are still unemployed. Who are still, yeah. yeah. So we need to be a bit more proactive. You know, have more of them. Yeah. More of them. <laughs> More of them, Muslim Pesika, Muslim huh? Pesika. Oh. There's no money you people oh. want. You just want to chill. You want that money to come and follow you. I know, life. right? Mm. Especially in my field, mm-hmm. creatives don't collaborate a lot. Okay, why do you think that is? I don't know. Everybody, everybody wants to, to the spotlight to be on them. There's a specific thing you're good at. Yeah. You know somebody else you can collaborate with? Because you're better than you want to eat. Because you have to, to divide the money. No, no, no. Oh, yes, I can do everything. Yeah. You see the kind of work they'll give you. It's okay to collaborate. Yeah. And you know the kind of magic we can create, like when different people come together. What's, the, what's that thing they say? The strength in numbers. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And when you, the, there's this proverb, when, there's a, when the, a broom has mm-hmm. a bunch of sticks, mm-hmm. together, together stronger. When yes. you take one out of it, it breaks. So... We need to stand together. Yeah. It's not just in my industry alone, but I can speak for my For your industry, industry yeah. of course. So what do you think can change that? Do you think more networking events or do you just think it's it depends mindset. on the mindset? Right. We need to look at what the world is doing right. and, and do better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We don't have to do the same thing they're of doing. Course. Do better. But luckily we have good examples like you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm always here to share. I know, I love it. I I love it. So let's not talk about the negatives. What are the two things you love about Ghana? It could be anything. Peace. Peace? So peaceful. It's peaceful? Nobody wants to start a riot. Nobody wants to start a coup. Every once in a while there's one person that wants to do something silly. Right. For the most part. It's it's, it's, it's Ghana. It's just a vibe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's it's, chill it. I don't know. I, I, I can't know explain you mean. it. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. people come for holiday and Charlie, you put a and I was uh-huh. like, it's just, it's, it's, I don't know. And the people are friendly. Yeah. And people are nice and you feel ho- it's very homey mm-hmm. and welcoming. Yeah. Wherever you go, your Uber driver is trying to chat with you. Mm-hmm. You know, people are trying to find out what's going on. It's like. You didn't feel like that back in London? <laughs> Nobody on the train, mind even in the morning. I know, yeah. I'm like, the only one on the train with my headphones and dancing small, small, trying to make myself happy. But like, you could be crying and no one would Nobody will even, even yes, ask you, are you having a bad day? No. No. Nope. Not cares. in London. No. Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> 
not like, yeah, in London. Like, yeah, oh, madam, we're okay. Yeah, I know. It's everything fine. Yeah. yeah. No place like home, right? Yeah. yeah. What else do you love about Ghana? Recently, I see that mm -hmm. we're really, you know, embracing, I guess, and it had to be because the world is is embracing our culture. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, we should have discovered that, but we Long have time, so much yeah. rich culture. Mm -hmm. So much rich culture in this country. It's a beautiful country. It is. Yeah. It is. So you encourage people to come back? Of course. Yeah. Of course. You don't have to make the move immediately. Come back a few times. A few times. Yeah, definitely starts with coming back. So you need to plan. Yeah, yeah. You need to plan. Come back a few times, do the visits. Mm -hmm. um, every time you come, maybe try and stay longer if work permits you or whatever you're doing mm -hmm. permits you. Mm -hmm. um, so what else is in store for loaves and fish? Well, the plan is to be on every continent, at least have headquarters in every continent, but like really expand. My dream is to, is to, you know, give businesses the opportunity to showcase what they're truly about. Right. Um, and make sure that they're in the right direction and, you know, getting, getting that exposure that they mm -hmm. need. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. No problem. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. It's been too, an girl. amazing chat. Very insightful. Thank you. Thank you as well. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us on an episode of Find Your Way Back. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. You know, we're really taught to second guess ourselves. Yeah. You know, like, am I crazy? Is this what I should be doing? But when, like I said, if you follow that voice, Nothing you, can stop nothing you. Nothing can stop you.